around here. Okay, so you pulled out your Bedini pulse motor energizer and you're going to recharge, rejuvenate some alkaline batteries. Because you know with the Bedini you could use the back EMF to recharge alkaline batteries safely. All voltage, no amperage, no heat. You can recharge alkali batteries without off-gassing or popping. And you just happen to pull out your remote-controlled vehicle, this car. I got that in 1986. He's been stored for quite some time. And when I pulled him out of storage, I found that he was still full of batteries. These old Toshiba batteries. Now, what I'd like to show you today is... Uh, indications of batteries that are not going to charge for you and not to waste your time with them. Let's take a look at one of these batteries here. The first one is obviously corroded. That one's going to have to be thrown away. The others, yep, the others are astonishingly clean. They look in real good condition. However, the expiration date is April 2002. That's not a good sign, but they look pretty good. Let's find out how good they are. So, let's move this down a little bit. Let's put this battery... Let's put this battery on the... Uh, <laughs> on the multimeter and I see nothing absolutely zero let me change the range this thing is a few millivolts it is dead 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 okay first off that's a pretty bad sign just a few hundredths of a volt let me tilt you up a little more so you can see better there we go you can see just a few hundredths of a volt. I'm going to plug in my Bedini. Let's put some uh, voltage to it. The Bedini is starting up and you see the, the uh, multimeter show the voltage potential rise on the terminals of the battery. That's a good sign. That's what's supposed to happen. However, it soon plateaus and starts to nosedive. Now, if this was a viable battery, it would never go down. It would continue to go up, plateau, up, plateau, creep up and up and up until it's charged. This one is just acting crazy. I'll let this go for a little bit because the uh, Bedini wheel is reaching its stride. It's giving me constant RPM, constant input energy, but my voltage on the battery is continuing to decrease. Seven, six, five. Back up to six, down to three, two. Let this go for several minutes like this. And it keeps going down and down and down. That's how you know there's internal damage to this battery. It is not viable, no matter how long you leave it on charge, it will not retain any energy. So, if you put this on charge and it continues to go downhill, toss it. Don't waste your time with it. Okay, I'm going to turn this off for a minute and reset. So, that was a telltale sign of a damaged battery. When you put it on charge, it goes up briefly and then discharges. Voltage goes down while it's on charge. Very bad sign. Don't waste your time. Five batteries over here fit that description. They're all going in the trash. The three up above, astonishingly enough, are quite viable and still good. Even though their use-by date is 2002. Sorry, i got to be kind of off-screen here. Got to hold this against my body. But if you can see the charge that they're holding, let me zoom in a little bit here. The charge that they are holding is 1.5, well above 1.5. Let me pick another one of these guys. 
This is astonishing for a battery this old. And they're all holding on to that energy. I charged them up uh, more than 30 hours ago. And they're retaining their energy fantastically. That's insane. So what I'm going to do to show you that this power is real, not just voltage, but amp hours. I got out uh, an old Walkman made by Toshiba, same people that made these batteries. And this is an old cassette jab. I'm going to put the batteries, Toshiba batteries, in this device that the Bedini recharged. And I got some headphones plugged into them. Some Led Zeppelin playing on the radio. Let's switch it over to tape. This tape has been in here since uh, the 90s. Spinal tap. <laughs> Press the play button. You can see it moving. Spinal Tap is playing. Outrageous. Is that crazy or what? You can hear that the speed is correct. It's constant. You can fast forward. These batteries are still in good shape. Let me pull it back out of here. And I'm going to put it back on and uh, take a look at it again. 1.5 and holding, rebounding from being used a little bit. So, Toshiba, you should be very proud of yourself. Your factory put out a battery that expired in 2002 and three out of eight are still operating properly and with full power. Get out of town. So that was my second series of alkaline battery failure. Watch out for batteries that when you charge them start to decrease, decrease pardon me, in voltage as they're charging. Very bad sign. This is Ron. See ya.